Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. I want us to return to the verse from yesterday because there's still more treasure there, probably much more than I know of, actually. Though Paul planned to travel straight to Rome after visiting Jerusalem for Pentecost, God had other plans, and that included prison. From that prison cell, it looked dark, both literally and figuratively for Paul. But Acts 23.11 says, The Lord stood by him and said, Be of good cheer, Paul, for as you have testified for me in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness at Rome. A lot of water would go under the bridge, as my mom would say, before Paul ended up in Rome. But because of this promise, Paul knew this was God's plan. The Lord was in control, not the Jews who wanted Paul dead or the Romans who tried to protect him and give him a somewhat fair trial. Besides that, the Lord was with him and would get him to Rome, where he would testify to all God had done for him. That meant when Paul heard about the Jews' plot to murder him, he didn't need to worry. He knew it wouldn't work. He hadn't gotten to Rome yet. And when he was sent to appear before the governor Felix, He didn't have to fear the outcome of that trial. He could speak boldly and witness even to Felix and later Governor Festus, King Agrippa, and Bernice. He knew they had absolutely no power over him because God was in charge and he could get him to Rome. When Felix left him in jail for two years, Paul knew he wasn't forgotten. God still had the plan to get him to Rome. Later, during the storm on the Mediterranean Sea, Paul could be calm. He knew that he'd get to Rome. In fact, at that point, the Lord renewed his vow to Paul by sending an angel to tell him, Don't be afraid. You must be brought before Caesar, and indeed, God has granted you all those who sail with you. Paul had an end point, an aim. He heard God give him this promise that he would preach in Rome, so that gave him hope, courage, boldness. Back in Genesis, Joseph also must have clung to the hope of the promise that God gave him through his dreams, that his family would bow to him. Even as a slave and later a prisoner, he could remember those dreams and have confidence that God would deliver on his promise, no matter how impossible it seemed to him. God has given us promises throughout his word that we can cling to during hard times to dispel fear, worry, and anxiety. He says, I am with you. Don't be afraid. My love will never fail you. I am faithful. I will forgive and pardon you. I hear your prayers. I will never abandon you. You have an eternal home waiting for you. I will give you the strength that you need. So many promises. Because of those promises, we can be bold, fearless in obeying the Lord's calling on our life. What promises do you cling to? How does that help you not be afraid? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes on our website, which you can find in the description below. Thank you for listening. And remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.